Many of you have been asking for a status update on Enzolytics, especially as many penny stocks, especially OTCs, have been sliding downward. As you know, I've been very excited about what Enzolytics has to offer and the difference they plan to make for humanity. I do have a small position in Enzolytics and, like many of you, like to invest in positive, disruptive technology companies. And Enzolytics definitely fits its description. Today, I do have exciting updates regarding the company's progress you'll be thrilled about. This is Lynn and welcome back. Remember, this is not financial advice, but for entertainment only. So let's go and look at today's hot stock. Why is ENZC taking such a hit in its price? I tend to watch the overall stock market, especially the Russell 2000 for small stock, as stocks tend to follow the sector's movements. For example, semiconductor stocks follow the overall semiconductor sector ETFs movements. You can see that the Russell 2000 ran way up from from March of 2020 until March of this year, and since then has been heading lower. And NZC's chart has been following this movement. Obviously, I am watching for a Russell 2000 sector turnaround, but this could take a while, as I'm sure you have all heard that with the threatened Fed's taper talks and threatened interest rate hikes, the penny stocks are taking a big hit. Just a quick reminder about ENZC before we get into Enzolytics updates. Enzolix is a drug development company that uses unique proteins to treat infectious diseases. The company has patented anti-HIV therapies and a proprietary methodology for producing human monoclonal antibodies to treat these diseases with non-toxic immunotherapy. Enzolytics has created a cell line that produces human monoclonal antibodies that target and neutralize the HIV virus. What's really fantastic is that they've worked for years with Intel to develop artificial intelligence analytic tools to create effective treatment against all virus variants. I posted a video fully analyzing what Enzolytics does that you'll want to view, and I will link it at the end of this video. The most exciting progress so far is Enzolytics' progress toward the completion of clinical trials for its ITV-1 anti-HIV therapeutics and securing use authorization under the European Medicines Agency, or EMA. Here you can see a chart that Enzolytics shared in a recent presentation indicating their expected earnings in billions over the next 11 years to a total of $100 billion. They would expect to realize $7 billion in revenue their third year, moving up to $14 billion a year in their 11th year after releasing this drug. And this is just for the HIV drug alone. What's really great is that they will also be saving the average HIV patient the $350,000 spent over their lifetime on current drugs to treat their illness. But first, before we continue, if you're finding value in this video, I'd love a thumbs up so I know you'd like to see more videos like this one. Here's an update on Enzolytics' progress with this HIV drug approval in April. Enzolytics released an AK report reflecting their top line next actions to regain current status with OTC markets market open operation in the Dallas, Texas area where the company has relocated a CMO, contract manufacturing organization to produce the validation batch for Immunotech Therapies, BG Europe, assist Immunotech Laboratories, BG Europe in the registration of ImmuneH as an immunomodulator for HIV treatment, further our development in North America of our flagship HIV immune therapy compound, IPF, as it relates to the CMO and production of the initial validation batch of Enzolytics lead product ITV-1, which will be marketed to Europe as ImmuH through Enzolytics partner Immunotech Laboratories BG Europe. This is for the treatment of HIV AIDS and the validation batch production is for the purpose of phase four as required by the regulatory agencies as part of the mass use permitting process. Upon a successful validation batch, the initial intent is for full commercialization for Eastern Europe, then expansion to additional markets. Enzolytics does own 49% of Immunotech Laboratories BG Europe. Previously, Enzolytics ITV-1 anti-HIV therapeutics had progressed toward certification under the Bulgarian Drug Agency or BDA, and that process was interrupted before completion, but they were able to document significant positive patient clinical trials. Enzolytics has published a couple of related news releases in the recent past about their clinical trials under the European Medicines Agency. 
I'm sharing the highlights of their progress with you today so that Enzolytics can gain approval by the European Medicines Agency or EMA leading to patient use authorization. Remember that Enzolytics is a therapeutics development company and that they need partners to handle the logistics such as volume manufacturing, licensing, and distribution. Enzolytics has been working hard on these items and here is an update. They have retained International Medical Partners Limited or IMPL as a distribution partner in Europe. IMPL is owned equally by Enzolytics and its partners and has the license to distribute Enzolytics ITV1 therapeutic in 27 European countries covered by the EMA plus 15 others including Russia, the Ukraine and Lithuania. Enzolytics has engaged a contract manufacturing organization, Danson Limited, to produce the initial quantity of ITV-1 used in preparing the required best methods report that will be needed for future production and clinical trials documentation. Enzolytics has engaged the contract research organization, Clinic Design Limited, to prepare the protocol for human clinical trials required for the licensing of the company's ITV-1 therapeutic under EMA. Dance Limited will also produce an initial production amount of the therapeutics to be used for completion of preclinical testing and the additional amounts that will be needed of the clinical trials with Clinical Design Limited. IMPL is contracting with a leading EU regulatory consulting company, Pharmalex, to manage the document review of product compliance, which the EMA requires. This is a smart move as all of these compliance requirements are very complex to negotiate. The clinical trials will be funded fully by Enzolytics IMPL European. What's great here is that none of the clinical trial costs will be borne by Enzolytics. Enzolytics shared that they believe an EMA approval could lead to a US FDA approval due to the EU recognition treaty. Here also is an interesting slide that Enzolytics shared earlier this year, indicating their drug development timeline for their HIV, coronavirus, and leukemia therapies. Here it shows that they should be well on their way into animal studies of anti-HIV therapies. They should also be undergoing the fast track clinical studies for the coronavirus therapies. Wouldn't it be great to have this available versus the current multiple ongoing shots? Lastly, they are currently undergoing the creation of HTLV-1 and 2 monoclonal antibodies. HTLV-1 is a virus that infects T cells, which make up people's immune systems. It has been linked to leukemia, lymphoma, and paralysis of the lower limbs. Around 95% of infected people experience no symptoms. Between 2 and 5% of infected people develop leukemia, while 0.25 to 2% experience lower limb paralysis. Human T cell leukemia virus type 2, or HTLV2, is a retroviral infection that affects the T cells. These are a type of white blood cell. Although this virus generally causes no signs or symptoms, scientists suspect that some affected people may later develop neuro neurological problems and or chronic lung infections. So you can see why I'm thrilled that Enzolytics is working on monoclonal antibodies for this virus. As a reminder, Enzolytics is under development of an additional wide range of immunotherapeutics for illnesses from rabies, the flu, to anthrax and smallpox. If you haven't yet, please give this video a thumbs up and join our community and subscribe. I'd also love to hear your thoughts about Enzolytics or any other stocks that you are liking right now. Go here to view our previous deep dive video on Enzolytics and our penny stocks playlist.